We are going to see if this four guitar is any good and I will teach you my arrangement of Amazing Grace. Hello friends, this is Tom and welcome to my music room. This week I started a series 52 guitars in one year. The first guitar was lent to me by a good friend Istvan Bakos. Istvan is a fingerstyle player from Budapest and he has a very cool duo called Acoustic Guitar Cafe. Uh, their links will be in the descriptions, check them out later, they are very, very cool guys. Uh, about the guitar, so it is from 2014, it's a Furk D33 SR. S stands for Sitka Spruce and R stands for Rosewood, it's East Indian Rosewood actually. Um, neck is mahogany, ebony fingerboard and bridge. Uh, actually Istvan changed the saddle and the uh, and the nut to bone, which um, I, I think maybe it was a good decision. And uh, and also the fret, it, it's been refretted, so now it has these uh, stainless steel frets. I think the guitar itself is a pre pretty straightforward uh, D28, Martin D28 type of uh, dreadnought guitar with some little differences like the scale length is uh, I think five millimeters longer, so it's 650 millimeters. The nut width is um, 43 millimeters, so it's a kind of slimmer neck, but it still plays very good if you play finger style also. It's, it's not just for flat pickers, I think. Actually, um, I, I play this guitar for uh, quite a few days now and uh, I really enjoy playing finger style stuff on it, so let me show you an example. It's really nice. The Istvan setup is quite great on this instrument because the string string tension is kind of low, but uh, it doesn't really buzz. So uh, I like how this boom chick thing uh, sounds like. The chick really ha has an edge. It is very cool. I also enjoy to play like. Um, uh, quieter type of uh, melodies and quieter type of stuff in this guitar. Sounds nice. And uh, let me show you an example with a, with a flat pick because uh, this is what this guitar has been made for. It's really, it's really a cool dreadnought guitar. So now we are going to learn Amazing Grace. We are in drop D tuning, so our low E string is tuned down a whole step to D. It starts with a single note melody. You can go like... or... F sharp, E, D, F sharp, E, D... B A or E D B A 
yeah then we repeat but now chord and here we put a D bass note a D note in the middle then we change the D note to C sharp so it's a D major 7th now it's a nice bluesy lick here we use this chord shape this A shape and we use the minor 3rd to the major 3rd I really like this type of stuff like uh, major 3rd 4th uh, uh, diminished five, five flat, flat five. I mean five, uh, sixth, then minor third, major third, and uh, yeah, root note. So, so. From here, we go to the root again, but this is our melody note, but I play also the ninth note here. So... Nice, isn't it? Like... And from here, uh, harmonics with a G, B, G bass note, like E and D, B and A. And here I play a little lick with harmonics, D, A, D, E, F sharp. F sharp is a little bit uh, below the fifth string, uh, fifth fret, sorry. And from here, melody with a B bass note, so it's uh, B minor 7th now. Isn't it? F sharp, E, D, F sharp, A bass note, E melody note. From here we're taking up the tempo like 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a D, D over F sharp, uh, F minor 6th, E minor 7th, like, and we are on the 5th chord now, A, A dominant, and we are going to use the A bass note, but uh, play different chords over it like A, D, all kinds of A and D chords like we continue with the melody it starts on the 4 so 1, 2, 3, 4 So here I play this little lick, it's pretty cool I think, and at the end I play the F sharp melody note here, but strum a D chord, like D, D, F sharp, E, D ninth or something. Then I move this D note down like uh, to C sharp, so it's a D major 7th now. And now it's a D dominant. And from here the D dominant, uh, it, it leads us to the G chord. So I play the melody like with fifths. Then, same here. So it's an E and a B and a D and an A. So 
Uh, and here we strum the D chord. Then we start the melody again. We can add this A note. We can do the same trick, but as we did in the beginning of the song. And from here we are moving to the A chord. So here another bluesy lick. So it sounds like this. From here, and from here we we go with the melody again, but we are kind of start to fading out, so we won't use this bass note, just this. And I also use as a color note this E here, and then we play the melody. So you you can play this tremolo here, but it's uh, you you can play however you would like. So and from here uh, we go. We are going back to harmonics. B minor seven. A E. And this is our closing lick here. So it's D, A, D, E, F sharp, A, D, E, F, uh, and this uh, D major seventh chord. It was easy, like hitting the subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to come back next week because I'm going to play another guitar, another song, and I'm going to review the guitar and also teach you the song. So, peace till then.